This is the story of the new Colossus and her undesirables. Walk with me through the creaking metal door at the base of Lady Liberty's pedestal. The air is stale with just a hint of mildew, the rot already palatable. Soon we see it, that beloved poem heard round the world, the new Colossus. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame with conquering limbs astride from land to land, here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep, ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. This was, of course, written by Emma Lazarus in 1883. If ever there was an eloquent and subtle rending and stabbing of classical Western civilization, dear listener, you have just heard it. Lady Liberty is not like the Colossus of Greek fame. She is, however, quite brazen. This so-called mother of exiles, virtue signaling her pathological altruism, is directly calling for the trash of other lands to settle on our shores. While immigration helped build this country, it was largely the strictly regulated immigration of certain peoples that made America great. Note the date of the poem, 1883. States' rights were slipping away, the ethnicity of our immigrants had begun to shift and the Federal Reserve was in the midst of one underhanded scheme after another to take over our nation's finances. Fast forward to 2019 and the results are obvious. The Federal Government has become a sort of Greek Hydra and at its heart beats a bank pumping fiat currency through an economy built on the weak backs of the easily exploited. Is this why the mother of exiles beckons to the downtrodden? Does she wish to add to the weight of their chains? This is not liberty. This new colossus is not a beacon of freedom, but a shrewd manipulator calling the weak to be tied in puppet's strings. She does not want the strong, the brilliant, or the proud. These souls are harder to control. Give her instead the tired, poor, and huddled, those ripe for the picking. Are these the immigrants we want? Are these the quality of immigrants who built this country? No. When the kingdom is already built, however, it is much easier for the rats in the woodpile to get inside the walls and destroy it from the inside out. They've chewed through the ropes on the drawbridge and all matter of vermin can now scurry inside. Our leadership was compromised long ago, and they do not care about the origins of their serfs. Should a segment of these peasants be taller, prouder, and stronger than the rest, they should be bred out, made to feel ashamed, brainwashed into submission, and of course, demographically displaced. This is not what made America great. This will ruin her. Dear Emma, we do not want anyone's wretched refuse. We do not want huddled masses. We do not want those exiled from every other land. We want the brave, the few, the tall, and the proud. We want the old Colossus. We want brazen European fame. We want to free the lightning of our gods, our ancestors, and our very souls. We will, in fact, keep the storied pomp of our ancient lands, and that spirit can and will live again right here and now. This new Colossus must be exiled to the depths of the New York Harbor. In her place a mighty warrior, that old Colossus, risen again. Yes, he of brazen Western fame, his lightning freed, his storied pomp echoed across the land once more. It is not too late. Let me read this poem to you one more time and pay attention to the stressed words. Not 
like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that twin cities frame. Keep ancient lands your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Clearly, Emma Lazarus and her tribe do not want us to remember our stories of brazen European fame. They do not want our men to act like men. They do not want us to remember our stories. They want us to all become equal as wretched refuse. If Emma were alive today, she would have an ethnocentric homeland and very likely dual citizenship. She would likely run back to her people's walls when the wretched refuse got to be too much, even as she told us that walls were immoral. She would never understand that we do not want this new Colossus. We want the old Colossus. We want our stories, and we want our lightning. Go home, Emma, and take the refuse with you. <laughs>